Just for sake of transparency, this video isn't sponsored, but I do know the person that made this Tim Pan. This is Tim, superstar, mate, fantastic filmmaker slash creative, and comes from where most United supporters come from. We made some videos together during his spare time in uni, but now he's doing some properly useful stuff with his life, such as this. So yeah, it's Tim Pan the Man's filter system. It's got his name on there. It's a very nice thing, made of metal, and it's MagSafe, so it sticks to the back of your phone like that. I won't do it too much, just in case the phone drops, but look. And you can have another look at 50% speed. Oof, that felt good. It's a sleek creative solution for taking videos or photos with your iPhone. For iPhone 12 or later, that is. So the whole idea is that it's a filter system for your phone. Put it on the back, and then you just slide it in. Then nine months later, a baby pops out. I've got the Bumper Max Pack. I don't think that's what it's called. It's got a better name than that. It's the All Snap Filter Bundle. I was so close. It comes with all of these. Look at that, it's like being at the opticians when they slide in and they check your eyesight. Well, my optician said it's standard practice anyway. The filters cover all three lenses, snaps and locks in place, then press to unlock and slide out. You know, and if you don't want to have it on, you just take it off. It's one of those, why didn't I think of that first kind of product? Well, because I I had a thought just there, but totally forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. So it's quite nice ergonomically. They've got little uh, lines in there. Makes it a bit grippy instead of just smooth metal, which would be incredibly slippy. Apparently, these groovy grooves are a Kickstarter thing. They're a neat touch that adds that extra bit of grip. Anyway, enough about the base and onto the filters. This one's got a star on it which presumably means, let's check it out, I think it makes the light into little star shapes. There's not much to see, but the sun and the boat, Super Boca Bros test track. A bit of poop over there. Hopefully it's a dog and not human poop. You never know, maybe some skater got too excited. Anyway, this probably shows up better what the cross star filter does. Um, nine dots. Looks like some, must be a soft filter. The Nine Dots one is a soft filter, or black mist as they call it. Makes the world look like an 80s music video, minus questionable hairdos. I think the most popular one will be your anamorphic look. It comes with a warm one and a cold one. Basically sort of like an orange or blue anamorphic look. Boom. Nice clicky action. So let's check this out. So you've got horizontal and vertical ones, which are for horizontal or vertical anamorphic flares, you can see there. I mean, that is one thing when you're swapping from vertical to horizontal shooting, is that you have to change the filter system, otherwise it will just look like that, your yeah, anamorphic flares. Uh, when you put it on ultra-wide, it does have the line, but it's kind of broken up in pieces. It works best with the standard... Whoa! I think the orange yellow, whatever, looks best with natural light. It just gives it that warm look. You've got a blue one, which looks great for artificial light. Just my personal preference, of course. You can use them however you want, just saying. Of course, it doesn't make it anamorphic, but it gives your iPhone footage some of that flashy anamorphic style flaring. Not overly done, looks good. Apart from the aesthetic stuff, though, you've got some more practical filters. Yeah, you've got ND filter system, up to eight stops of um, ND-ness. But, you know, if you're shooting with Filmic Pro, that'll come in handy. It's obviously with the, the standard iPhone photo app, you can't change shutter speed and stuff like that. So you don't really need an ND filter. But if you're using Filmic Pro, that comes in handy. Whereas the other filters are for creative effects, the ND filters will be useful if you want to stick to the 180 degree shutter rule, or for photos, when you're using other apps that let you use manual exposure to use slower shutter speeds for creative purposes. Filter systems for iPhone, not a new thing, but this pan scheme MagSafe iPhone filter system is an elegant solution because you don't have to commit to putting a chunky case on. The base is easy on, easy off, and the interchangeable filters are quick to change and stay in place securely. What else is there to say? It's a cool product, and there really isn't any other MagSafe iPhone filter system out there on the market. What's more, although the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max's face differs, making fun of his own notch by expanding for a notification, plus there's new colours in a 48 megapixel camera, it seems like the dimensions are pretty much the same, so the Pro and Pro Max snap filter base should snap on them too. So if you like it, link to their Kickstarters down below.